In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what my silver stacking priority has been for the last couple of months, along with some of the coins, rounds, and bars I think make the most sense if you're trying to break down the premiums as much as possible. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also a little bit of gold as well, but I wanted to mostly talk about what I think are the best pieces of silver to stack right now if your priority is stacking silver mostly for the weight. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Monday, May 24th, 2021. It is currently 66 degrees outside. Incredibly cloudy. Can't even see the sun. Yesterday was 93 and blazing hot and sunny. So it's kind of giving some false hope. I thought summer was here. But regardless, I'm enjoying the day anyway. Why be inside when you can be outside? So I'm filming another video out here. Today I wanted to talk about mainly silver, also a little bit of gold, and my way of breaking down the premiums to the best of my ability. I'm also going to be showcasing a couple of examples of what I'm talking about because I think there's one big problem everyone's having right now and it's the premiums. We don't need to talk about it. We understand the premiums are high and water is wet feel like a broken record which is why I try my absolute hardest not even to say the word premiums anymore but that is an issue right now and a lot of people are doing whatever they can to break down the premiums to the best of their ability some people are focusing a little bit more on gold and by the way even if you're not necessarily stacking for weight maybe you're more of a coin collector or maybe you're somewhat of a hybrid between the two somebody who's stacking and somebody who's collecting I've gotten a countless number of comments from people for really the last year saying that they're focusing a little bit more on the higher premium coins as of lately because the premiums on those higher premium coins barely even went up because they were high up there to begin with and all of the other types of silver, the generic silver, the eagles, the maples, the premiums on all of those went up. So the difference in premiums when you compare quote unquote low premium to higher premium were almost the same for a while. So a lot of people were focusing on the collector's pieces. So that's an option if you're into coin collecting. I'm personally not. I'm not too interested in coin collecting. I'm still prioritizing getting the most bang for my buck and I just wanna get as much money for my currency as I possibly can. And coin collecting Never really intrigued me all that much to begin with. But anyway, moving forward, let's talk about some of the different types of pieces of silver we can get our hands on right now. I mean, I'm gonna put a picture up of just a regular everyday American Silver Eagle. And if you look at the price tag on one of them things, you can see about $40. I think it's 38 to $40. And to be honest with you, that's a little bit on the lower side. I see a lot of other websites having $41, $42, $43 a piece. So let's just completely disregard the Silver Eagle. And let's move on over to the Canadian Maple Leaf. You can see $35 to $36. So it's like, all right, now we're talking. I have no issue stacking Silver Maple Leafs right now. I haven't in a little bit of time because there are other pieces of silver with an even lower premium, which I'm going to get to momentarily. But I think the Maple Leaf is a rock solid example of a one troy ounce pure silver coin, government minted silver coin. It could be the Maple Leaf, it could be the Philharmonic, it could be the Britannia. There are a lot of coins out there that, yeah, the premiums have gone up over the last year and X amount of months but they're still pretty fair, especially if you were to compare them to the premiums on generic silver rounds, which have always had a lower premium than government minted coins. But right now with the spot price being 
just under $28, which by the way, quick little spot price update, I forgot to say it. Silver, as I'm recording the video, is $27.72. That's a palindrome, by the way, and it means that it's up 19 cents. And gold is currently $1,884.10, which means it's up $3.40. The gold to silver ratio is in the 67 to 68 to one range. Head on down to the comments and let me know what the current spot price is for you as you're viewing the video because the numbers I'm providing are simply as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching it. So let me know, I'm always curious. So moving away from the slightly lower premium government minted coins, such as the Maple Leafs, the Philharmonics, the Britannias, maybe even the Kangaroos, miscellaneous coins from miscellaneous different countries, very, very recognizable, very, very popular. Sure, the premiums are up a little bit, but I consider them to be pretty fair. And if I found any of these coins for a slightly lower premium, I would absolutely load the boat with those particular coins. They haven't been my focus though. They haven't been my priority. So moving away from pure silver, one troy ounce coins, I wanna now talk about what my priority has been for really the last year. Now, number one, I have prioritized gold much more over the last year than I have in previous years. So that right there has been one of my priorities. But since we're talking about silver, what my priorities have been, first and foremost, generic rounds and bars. That has been my go-to, along with 90%. So I'm gonna to toss a little generic round up on screen right here. You can see 32 to $33 a piece. Not bad at all as far as I'm concerned, which is why I've been prioritizing generic silver rounds and bars. The Buffalo round being my favorite silver round on the planet. An excellent choice in my opinion. And if you want to really break down the premiums on that generic silver, and if you're able to and willing to save up a little bit more cash to get yourself a larger denomination piece of silver, rather than little one troy ounce increments, maybe get yourself a 10 ounce bar, maybe a kilo bar. The bigger the denomination, typically the lower the premium is going to be. So that's definitely an option if you're able to and willing to. Now moving away from generic silver, I also wanted to talk about my number one priority for the last year. Of course I've been prioritizing generic silver, but I've been prioritizing something even more than that, which is 90% junk constitutional silver random by the way i don't go after specific 90 percent silver i go after whatever the coin shop has or if i were to do some online shopping whatever is listed the lowest price usually washington quarters here up on screen you can see 28 to 29 dollars per $1 face value. So for $28 to $29, you get four silver quarters. And that goes for 10 silver dimes or two 90% silver half dollars, $1 face value. You can break it down and calculate how much each individual troy ounce of silver worth of 90% would cost you in fiat currency glorified IOU debt note dollar bills. I have a video that I posted on my backup channel probably at least six months ago, I'm assuming. It really breaks it down. It's called 90% silver made simple or something like that. It's a very easy math equation to figure out exactly how much the 90% costs per troy ounce. If you want to go check that out, it's on the backup channel. But I've been prioritizing the 90%. And you want to know how I've been prioritizing it? Not online. I haven't been ordering the 90% over the internet. I did last year. Because guess what? My local coin shop was closed. Guess why? Because I live in New Jersey. Everything was closed. You know what else they closed? A little mom and pop's donut shop in my town. It was deemed not essential. But directly across the street. It's about a 17 second walk away. Dunkin' Donuts weren't even phased. Blows my mind. Anyway, I don't wanna stay focused on the silver. The coin shops 
were shut down. I had absolutely no choice but to get a majority of my silver online last year. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was all right. I found some pretty good opportunities. I used those eBay bucks and I got tons and tons of cash back. And when I say tons and tons of cash back, I mean hundreds of dollars worth of cash back because I used that Discover It cash back card for all of my PayPal transactions, which gave me 5% cash back. And at the end of my first year, it was matched. So that's 10% cash back on all of the silver that I acquired for three months last year, July, August, and September, which is coming up again this year. Link in the description. If you need a referral link for the card, if you apply for it through a referral link and you get approved, you and I both get a $50 statement credit. You don't have to use mine, but make sure you use somebody's. If you know somebody with a card, use theirs. Regardless, I got a lot of my silver on eBay last year, and a majority of that silver was 90% junk constitutional. Now, I was never that big of a fan of 90%. I thought it was cool. I liked it. It was kind of boring, though. It wasn't anything that got me overly enthusiastic. Nothing super exciting. I mean, just by looking at it, it looks exactly like the change I've had in my pocket my entire life. It wasn't anything new. It wasn't anything exciting. So I didn't really pay too much attention to it. 2019, I started to embrace it a little bit more. I started to integrate it into the stack by picking up at least a dollar face value worth every single time I'd stop by the coin shop or I'd place an order online. But then 2020 happened and it forced me to be less picky. So in a weird way, somewhat of a blessing in disguise. But I want you guys to head on down in the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what you think is the move right now. What do you think the focus should be? What do you think the best thing to stack is when it comes to the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. When it comes to everything that I shared in today's video, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about the spot price of silver being well above $27 an ounce? Obviously, premiums bring that up into the low to mid 30s, depending on what you're going after. But what do you think the focus should be right now? Or what is your focus at this very specific point in time? If you're trying to break down the premiums, 
Have you completely let go of Silver Eagles? I have. Haven't picked up even one Silver Eagle since February of 2020. I made an exception for the Type 2s. I pre-ordered a couple of them. But other than that, I'm really not interested in Silver Eagles at the moment for the foreseeable future. Maple Leafs, Philharmonics, other coins like that. I'm definitely open-minded. I would love to pick some more up, especially the 2021 Britannias. Those are nice, especially with that new security feature. Whew. But other than that, for me, it's just been pretty much 25% generic rounds and bars and 75% constitutional silver. That's just what I've been doing for really the last year at this point. That's what the priority has been. Something tells me that's what the priority is going to continue to be for however long it takes for if and when the premiums drop back down. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.